Good morning, Foxes. I'm so excited. It's one of my favorite days of the week. It's Thinking Thursday with our amazing Mrs. McDonough. Before I pass on the torch to her, please make sure that you stay tuned to, after the announcements, one of our amazing fifth curators, um, Caleb Craighead, will be playing an instrument. It's a thumb piano, which I didn't even know existed. So thank you, Caleb. And remember, if you haven't seen Mrs. Christmas amazing bulletin board about how the music impacts our brain, you should. And with that, I'm going to pass on the mic to our amazing Mrs. McDonough. Mrs. McDonough, the floor is yours. Good morning, Foxes. I also want to encourage everyone to uh, look at Mrs. Christmas bulletin board. Every time I look at it, I see and learn something different. So we were going to start this Thinking Thursday morning with our pledge. And today it feels very exciting to say the pledge because we have a new president. So let's stand for our pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Let's go ahead and recite our bucket filler pledge. We pledge to do our best to be bucket fillers each day by being kind to others and watching what we say. If we accidentally spill the bucket of a friend, will say we're sorry and be kind until their bucket is full again. So today I want to talk to you again about books. We have a lot of great books that I would like to give to you. Lots of great books I would like to see you reading, not just in our library, but in our classroom. And a lot of those books are nonfiction books, books about real things. So again, I wanna encourage you to foster your curiosity about things in the world. Maybe you're wondering about bats or yucky worms or about bones or you wonder why a whale is not a fish or you wanna know more about snakes, or maybe interesting things like volcanoes. We have books about all kinds of things, about how the world works and what is inside the world, all about real things, nonfiction. And so if you're reading a nonfiction book, make sure you tell me about it and what you're learning about the world around you. And I have a book for you. So you can tell me about your book and I will give you a free book to take home and keep with you. So thank you for thinking about books and sharing them with me in advance. Also, please remember, if you are going to run for student council or have any interest in student council, please, as soon as you can, hurry on board by saying Mrs. Keating because the time is running out to fill out that paperwork for next year's student council. So see, Mrs. Keating, if you're not sure who that is or you're wondering where her room is, ask your own teacher, ask me, ask Dr. Ake. We'll help you get there uh, to talk with Mrs. Keating. So I hope you have a great Thursday. I look forward to seeing you all in the hallways and hearing about what you're reading in those, that world of nonfiction. Dr. H. Thank you, Mrs. McDonough. And Foxes, remember, this week we are celebrating and spreading love just like Dr. King. So if you see someone in the hallway that you don't know, pass on the compliment, celebrate each other. Life is really short. And we are together for a long time during the day. So let's make every day special by being kind to each other and being bucket fillers and reading books. Ms. McDonough, thank you again. Praxis, have a great day or not. Let's show up.
The choice is yours. Have a great one. Good morning, Foxes. Uh, this is part two of Thinking Thursday with Ms. McDonough. We have a very special guest with us, our very own fifth grader, Caleb Craighead, who is going to be playing a very special instrument. And as you know, instruments are amazing. I don't know if you've seen the bulletin board that um, Mrs. Christman has put up, but music utilizes not just the hippocampus, but it utilizes different parts of the brain in order to produce some sweet sounds that we take for granted. So with that, let me pass it on to Caleb. Thank you, 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 thank you